Whenever we're seeking God, a lot of questions come to mind, such as who is God and what is He like? Where do we come from and why do we exist? And if there is a God, why is there so much pain and evil and suffering in the world? And on a personal level, does God have a plan for my life? My first year in ministry, I was serving with a group of Christ followers as a minister in a church. And there was a young girl in the group named Chelsea. And she was the sweetest, kindest little girl. And we found out one evening that she had leukemia. And just two days later, she passed away. And I can remember going through her notebook, and it was just God-saturated filled with thoughts and questions and poems about God. And she asked me to speak at her funeral, something no little girl ought to ever have to do. And it drove me to ask some of these same questions again. And so I went back to the Bible looking for answers. The Bible is a big book filled with a lot of smaller books, but overall it tells just one story, a story of faith hope and love, and ultimately, a story of redemption. The Bible begins with a book called Genesis, which is a word which means beginning. And the opening words of the Bible are profound. This is what it says. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and He separated the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness He called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. I love science and learning. When I was 12, I received a telescope for my birthday. And I love looking up at the stars and the moon and thinking about the universe. When I was in college, I received a biology degree, and I was even accepted into medical school. So I believe in science, and science has helped tremendously improve our lives and helped us make some amazing discoveries. Scientific explanations have helped us understand much about the world. The scientific theories about the origin of life all begin with the Earth water and amino acids. But where did these things come from? The Big Bang Theory says that the universe began with a superheated ball of mass which exploded, providing a scientific explanation for how the universe came to be expanding, which it certainly is. But the question I always had was, where did the superheated ball of mass come from? You see, these theories all assume creation. They do not explain the ultimate origin of things. That is why for me, whenever I've doubted my faith, I've always come back to this. This world and this universe had to come from somewhere. And for me, that means that there must be a God. And that has profound implications for my life. Of course, today the question is, which God? Now there are a lot of faiths out there. Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Judaism, the New Age movement, and Christianity. How do we know which one is the right one? <laughs> That's a good question. But for now, just encourage us to examine the biblical account and see if it doesn't ring true and well describe our world as we know it. According to the biblical account, God created the land and the seas, the plants and the trees, the sun and the moon, 
The creatures of the sea and the birds in the air and the creatures that crawl upon the ground. And there was a pattern in this creation. Each time that God created something, God saw that it was good. So what do you think? What do you think of this biblical account? And what evidence do you see that points towards a creator of the universe?